So there's those two pieces that, you know, anytime we're talking about career change, let's talk about what you want. And then let's talk about the how, how to get there. And it isn't just tactical steps of, you know, talk to this person and, you know, do this research or whatever. It's feeling here like the, like the change is possible. This is the part that like the connection to the work is what makes it meaningful. That's why I spent a lot of time talking about values. And I think this is a different way of showing it, right? Everything's sort of around, around that circle there. It's, it's like needs, you know, I need to make a certain amount of money and I need to, you know, be local to my family and where my parents live. Um, but this, you know, this is, this is really important. So I think of it as like the balance of like the brain, right? Like I just, I need to check these boxes. Um, but you know, here, this is the meaning part and that's, that's where the job satisfaction comes from. Do you see how sometimes we get stuck on this idea of passion? I've had people call me I'm like, I don't know what my passion is. And everybody just says, figure out what your passion is and find a way to get paid for it, right? And it's so, you know, it's so, in the words of these clients, it's you know, so easy to say, and I just don't know what it is, right? I don't know what that thing is that I'm passionate about, or have all these things that I care about, and I don't know which one it's supposed to be. Um, another way of thinking about values, I think there are kind of all sorts of metaphors that you can use, but it's your compass, right? Like, you're going to make choices, and you're going to move this way and that on the path in life, but like the compass is like, am I, am I in alignment with this direction, right? Because Alignment feels good, and misalignment doesn't. So those values, those values are your your compass when you keep an eye on what matters to you. Um, so the confidence piece, I, you know, I was thinking about like how do we talk about confidence? Like we build it, we boost it, we gain it, we lose it. Like it's this, like we talk about it, like it's this like this thing <laughs> out here, um, but it's all in our heads, right? I mean, ultimately it's. It's, it's our mindset, right? And the fixed mindset is this idea of like, I am now all, like all that I'm going to be and life is a series of tests to tell me if I'm, you know, I'm good enough, right? So I wanna do that thing that I'm really good at over and over again because I know it and I feel good and the world tells me that I'm good at it, but that, that thing right there, I don't know it, I don't wanna do it because I might fail, right? The growth mindset is give me that hard thing. <laughs> Give me that hard thing because I'm going to be different at the end of it. Growth mindset is this idea that we don't fail, that we learn and we grow, and that these challenges make us, you know, that we're better for it. Um, it's very useful with children. Um, you know, having a, rec you know, recognizing this in, in, in a child that like, oh, they don't want to try new things because they want to do the thing that they're really good at. You know, read the book that they've already read because they know all the words. How do you... You know, and it's, it's true with adults too, right? Like how do we sort of move in that direction of you grow, you know, you grow through the challenges. So being more aware of our mindset, you know, we can sort of catch, our, catch ourselves and catch where we're sort of self-sabotaging around change. Um, because we will tell ourselves that it's not possible and we will probably hear it from a lot of, you know, a lot of other people that you shouldn't try it or they knew you know I know somebody who tried that thing and it didn't work and you know we pull that stuff in but there's a part of you that's like but what if like what can, can I you know why, why can't I have a you know have a new job or a boss that you know a boss that recognizes me or you know work in a place where it's less technology dependent and you know people sit down at a table and talk to each other or have more connection like if I believe that it's possible if I believe that it's worth pursuing because this is my one life and that's what we're supposed to do with it, then wow, we have a lot more sort of fuel behind us. Precisely at the moment when we think about making a really exciting change that all these, I call them cautionary tales. Everyone will have a cautionary tale about why you shouldn't do the thing that you're thinking about doing have these stories. I'm so fortunate to have these stories of people who didn't settle, right? And I will give them to you if you need them as inspiration, you know, give you those anecdotes as inspiration for change. You never have to settle. And I don't mean you just quit, you know? And I don't mean you, you know, apply to NASA to be an astronaut, but it's this, it's this, I call it the relentless pursuit of better, right? If you imagine it could be better, how else should we be spending our time and make it better?